Lesson 1, a simple OpenGL project. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a C++ console project as we did in C++ console lesson 1. In this lesson, we will create our first OpenGL project. This lesson will focus on getting everything in place to make OpenGL applications using CLUD as our GUI library. As such, we will give the code without any explanation at this point. To begin, you will need to create a console project like the one we made in our C++ console lesson 1. To do that, you can follow the steps there. However, you will probably want to name the project something like OpenGL lesson 1 instead of Hello World. Also, you should copy the code here into the file main.cpp instead of the Hello World program. The code looks like this. You can pause the video by clicking the screen if you want to type it in or copy it from our lesson page. I'm using Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition on Vista for this video, but other versions of Visual Studio and Windows should work similarly. Next, open up a browser window, then type this URL into the address bar and press enter. The odd looking character there before Nate is a tilde which is located just below the escape key. You should now be on Nate Robbins page, which should look like this. Right click the link, glut. 3.7.6 bin.zip and this menu should appear. Left click save target as and that will open up the save as dialog box shown here. Navigate to a folder where you would like to save the file temporarily. Here I have created a temp directory to store temporary files in. Once you have selected a location, left click the save button to save the file. Once the file is downloaded, left click the close button to close the dialog. Next, open the folder where you saved your GLUT zip file. Right click the zip file and select Extract All. This will bring up the extraction dialog shown here. Left click the checkbox next to show extracted files when complete. Then left click the Extract button. Now you should see a GLUT folder along with the zip file. Left click this folder and you should see another folder inside of it. Left click that folder and you will see these GLUT files. Now, open the include folder at this location and drag the file glut.h into it. Next, open the system32 folder inside the Windows directory and drag the file glut32.dll into it. Lastly, open the lib folder at this location and drag the file glut32.lib into it. Finally, left click debug in the menu bar and left click start without debugging. When the program is finished compiling and executes, you should see an open window with a line in it like this, with a standard console window behind it. This concludes the lesson.